Aloha and Buju, and welcome back to the Aloha Indian channel. I'm Open Door, you can call me Odie, and the day has arrived. After years of being a fan of Stores and Bickles vaporizer products, we finally decided to try out their newest product, the Venti handheld vaporizer. We're gonna do a quick unsealing, unboxing of it, check out what comes in the box, charge it up, and then take it for a first puff. Let's unseal it. So I ordered this on Sunday, which was just four days ago. It arrived from California very quickly. All right, I'm gonna slide the case off. So Stores and Bickle, if you've never experienced their products before, they make medical grade vaporizer products and they've been in business definitely at least 20 years. I've been using their products for almost 10 years. I've bought multiple volcanoes. There's my... <laughs> Last Volcano, I've bought Volcano for Friends. I've bought their other handhelds, the Mighty and the Crafty for friends and family. And this is the first time I've picked up a handheld for myself. And as you can see, it's much smaller than I expected. Uh, I believe it's actually, feels like it's smaller than the Mighty. The Mighty uh, was a little wider, I believe. Uh, but wow, very nice. In the case, we have the charging cable. Luckily, I already have a, another USB-C cable plugged in. This one that it comes with is probably only about two feet long. So let's get it charging. USB charger is right here on the bottom. It's showing three out of six bars. So we're gonna let that charge up while we're waiting. We've got a small pack of screens, a stirring stick, this stick is to uh, stir up your cannabis inside the bowl chamber, which you probably actually won't need that often. And then, uh, yeah, just a couple O-rings and a couple different size screens, a finer screen and a wider screen. And we also get a new Stores and Bickles uh, proprietary bamboo brush. And here's the full instruction manual. It does have a companion app that goes on your phone that can let you adjust certain settings. That's to get into your heat temperature and the strength of the vibration. There's a little rumble, I believe, that tells you when the heat is ready. I will show you where the chamber is. So we twist off this cooling chamber off the top. It has an adjustment for the airflow, so you can take uh, more gentle hits or you can really crank it open. We've got a screen on the bottom there that will hold down the cannabis. And here is our loading chamber. This is a slightly bigger chamber than on the Mighty, their other handheld version. You can adjust the temperature on the front here manually. Cooling chamber, battery base. The most important thing that I like about using these vaporizers is the terpenes. So in cannabis, the aroma and scent, the flavor of the cannabis is determined by the terpenes in it. Now, the terpenes are the little crystals, little trichomes that grow on top of the cannabis. And this is what is extracted for waxes and distillates. When you use a vaporizer, you taste those terpenes so clearly. There's nothing that equals it. Even the best live rosin cartridges don't taste anywhere near as good as a volcano hit. And that is why I call the so stores and pickle the terpene kings. The second reason I prefer vaporizing over other methods is that it is much healthier for your lungs and your skin. Smoking and the process of combustion is very detrimental to your lungs, your throat, and your skin. I've been smoking for many years and I want to still be healthy and happy and be able to speak when I'm elderly. I've almost fully switched to vaporizing anytime I ingest. I always prefer the terpene taste here. Third reason I prefer vaporizing over other ingestion methods is that it's way more economical. When you use a volcano vaporizer or one of their handhelds, it stretches your cannabis out to its maximum potential. You get every bit of THC and CBD out of every flower you use. Now, another reason I was curious about switching over to the Venti is I also believe it's gonna be more economical for me than the original 
OG volcano, Hawaii has the most expensive electric in the United States. Having my volcano base idling all day is probably running up my electric bill quite a bit. So I will report back when I do an update review on this in about three or four months and tell you exactly how much it's affected my power bill and if this is working as a daily driver for me. Those are the reasons why I think the new Venti is going to be preferable to the OG Volcano. I absolutely believe that the Volcano are more economical and healthy than carts. So while I was waiting for the Venti to be delivered this week, uh, I went and picked up a live rosin cartridge. And I got to say, they, this is not a bad one. They can taste okay, but still, it's very expensive. I picked up this half gram. Uh, it's about a $50 cartridge, and I only used it for two days and very lightly just hitting it like maybe once every hour while I was on my live streams. And in just two days, I've used almost two thirds of it. That's almost $50 with cannabis, with cannabis flowers in my volcano. One, maybe a gram of cannabis flower will last me a day and a half. I'll get dozens of hits off the volcano. The bag will fill multiple times. We'll see what the difference is here with the venti, but I'm very optimistic. I do enjoy a classic blunt every once in a while but I'm not a big tobacco fan. So <laughs> smoking lots of blunts, uh, like I tried earlier this week, burns me out very quickly. I find that the tobacco makes me a little nauseous. I'm Native American. Tobacco is also one of our sacred herbs. I prefer vaporizing and maybe just a, a, a classic joint. <laughs> well, it looks like it's charged up. I don't feel any warmth, any heat off the charger. Let's give it a whirl. And just to be clear, I have a 329 Hawaiian medical marijuana recommendation card. Do not ingest marijuana if you are in a state where it is not legal. Yes, I am in a state where it is legal. I have a 329 card. This is just for demonstration purposes. I do not suggest anybody use cannabis. Cannabis can be a psychoactive drug. Please consult a medical professional before ingesting any sort of recreational drugs. I'll have an idea how big the chamber is here in a moment. I saw someone measure this with calipers and they found that it is slightly bigger than the chamber found on the Mighty and the Crafty. It is not as big as the chamber on the volcano. The volcano is significantly wider. Let's use our nice new brush that we got. So we don't want to overpack it. Don't cram it. You don't want to jam it in too firmly because the air needs to pass through to heat up the buds. And we're going to take the top, twist it on. Boom. One tap on the power button, turns it on. It starts at 180 degrees. I think the max temperature is about 210. You don't want to go much over that. It won't go much over that because that is about where combustion starts to happen. Even if you max out the temperature control on the volcano or this, it is never going to combust or burn your flower. That is where the carcinogens are released. So that is the whole point of Stores and Bickles products is to not give you cancer, to not make you sicker. That's why they call it medical grade and it's recommended for cancer patients and for anybody that is using it in a medical capacity. So it's about halfway charged. There is a slight vibration telling me that the temperature is ready. Hold it from the side. It's very comfortable. Very convenient. I, I love the form factor. All right, so let's try it. First hit, let's see. Wow, incredibly smooth. Very good. So I'm not sure what the vibrations is telling me that it still needs to charge or what, but I think it's telling me that it's ready.
Wow. Oh. <coughs> yes. <coughs> okay. Oh. There it is. Oh, <coughs> the the sweaty hit. Oh, oh. I've had friends that do nothing but dab and I've put my volcano vaporizer, all my stores and pickle products right up against them and it is just as strong as a dab and so much tastier, so much smoother. It's it's really great. Highest possible recommendation. Yes, it's expensive. $449 is the price of a PlayStation 5 or a new graphics card. But when you factor in what you're saving on your cannabis by stretching it out, and what you factor in the tens of thousands of dollars you will save in medical bills, it is absolutely worth it. All right, we are back after our first 24 hours of using the Venti. So I used it for about five hours last night on the stream, and it is very convenient to use it while I'm playing and multitasking. The amount that I used last night was about the same that I would use in a volcano. You do have to refill it a bit more often. The coolest thing I did find was what everybody is raving about this thing is the heating speed. But I'm just gonna show you quickly how fast this thing heats up. I just used the quick presets that you can double tap to hit here. And those can be adjusted in the app, but they work fine. So let's show you one tap, turns on. And it's gonna vibrate when it's ready. Let's say under 20 seconds. And it might be ready to go already. Okay, there it goes, yes. So that's about 20 seconds from absolutely stone cold. Where it gets more impressive is now watch when we step up from 180 to 195. Double tap, preset. You'll see it blinking in the corner there, boom. That's how fast it stepped up from 180 to 195. Step it up one more time. Quick step, 210, that's the max. Again, this can be adjusted in the app. Boom, it's already heated and ready to go. And there we go, a tiny little hit towards the end. I did find that I didn't really have to stir it as long as I maxed it out, took a few hits at the max, you kind of know when it's cashed out. That is the most impressive element, the incredible speed of the fast charge. Again, the battery lasted about six hours. The size is just about the same size as the remote control for your television. It is incredibly convenient. One thing that I was a little worried about was these cooling units on the top. They're sold out right now and it is a big chunk of like intricate plastic. I didn't want this to be disposable, but I did find in the instruction manual that the cooling unit can be completely disassembled and cleaned with isopropyl alcohol or hot water. The screens and all the rings can be replaced and it even came with a few additional ones. Yes, that is very great and that sets my mind at ease that we're not adding a lot of plastic waste into the environment. Now, my thoughts on if this is gonna work as a daily driver, it probably will for me, but if your pain relief needs are very extreme, I would suggest just going with the full classic Volcano. The baggy structure gives you more freedom on how long and uh, how much you can ingest. And I would say this is good for moderate to high users. I'll come back in three to four months and do an update on how it's handling as a daily driver. Well, there is my first 24 hours of Venti use. If you would like to see more product reviews like this on the channel, let me know, like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Stay safe. Stay healthy.